Hi, I'm Frank Rohr, and this is Matt Chenard. We're out of the Delta office here in Bismarck. And, and what we'd like to do is give you a bit of a, a, our view of what the fall flight will be. Um, I got to tell you, we don't have a whole lot of data because the, the big breeding ground survey that's done in May was canceled due to COVID. And so the only quantitative data we have is from North Dakota, a state survey that's been going on for a bunch of years. So let's first talk about the Dakotas. I'll let Matt, you want to start there and then we'll switch into Canada. Thanks, Frank. Well, uh, as Frank mentioned, North Dakota was the only state that really had a, a breeding survey of ducks and, and it was great news for, for hunters throughout North America. Uh, the duck numbers were up, wetland numbers were up. Um, we had oh, just under 4 million ducks in North, breeding ducks in North Dakota and, and the wetland numbers were up 70% over last year and were the sixth highest on record. So the conditions were set up perfect for good duck production here in, in North Dakota. And that was pretty much the same from what we heard in other states like South Dakota, Minnesota. Wetland conditions were in great shape for breeding ducks. And so that was really good news for like teal, for example, you know, the teal will settle where there's water, same with some other species. And, and so the teal numbers were up 60% uh, from last year here in North Dakota. So blue wing teal, we expect really great production from them. Another good news point from North Dakota is they had a brood survey here in July and brood, uh, the brood count was at 9% from last year. And last year was a good production year too. So um, we expect that, that production in North Dakota and the U.S. side of the prairie pothole region was very good. And, uh, and we're gonna see a lot, of, a lot of young ducks flying south. When we, when we cross into Canada, it's a little more spotty. So if you go from east to west, Manitoba was quite wet, way above uh, the wetland conditions last year. And so we'll have good production out of southwest Manitoba. But as you switch across Saskatchewan, uh, it start, started to dry out. So it's really quite dry and ironically very dry in the parklands where we typically have consistently good water. So uh, Saskatchewan was the low point of the five major jurisdictions. The Dakota's very wet, Manitoba wet, and interestingly, it's normally drier as you go west into Alberta, but Alberta got a lot of snow and has had a lot of rain this, this uh, summer. So they, they started with good wetlands and, and they continued the good wetlands. So I think Mani Manitoba and, and Alberta are gonna carry the day for, for Canada and Saskatchewan is the low point, but we'll still have pretty good production because we had so many ducks. For some, some species, it's gonna be a low point. Canvasbacks that breed in the parklands, they had a tough year. But other ducks are going to do okay in, in, uh, in Manitoba and Alberta. So overall, I'd say it's going to be a good year. It's that production that Matt was talking about that really counts for southern hunters. So blue wing's great. Mallard's probably pretty good just because they have such a huge geographic range. The things that breed in the boreal will be consistently good, ringnecks and 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 green wing teal. Green so teal, overall, yeah. I think it's gonna be a real good year, particularly yeah. excited about the teal season. Yeah, I think uh, just to reiterate what Frank said, the, the young ducks are what what we harvest the most, they're the easiest yep. to harvest. And so when we have good production from some of these areas, I mean, the ducks that settled in North Dakota are obviously gonna have good production. Alberta and Manitoba are gonna have decent production as well. And so, you know, ducks like mallards that can kind of find the water if there's water, they'll find it and, and do fairly well. Um, we're go they're going to have a good year and we're going to have some, some decent hunting. So we're excited about this fall. I think it's going to be a good duck season. So next week we'll, uh, we'll shoot a podcast where we dive a little bit deeper into this production business and we'll talk about, you know, the, the settling, the re-nesting, nesting and re-nesting brood survival. So uh, we'll go a little deeper, look at some maps and, and, uh, and cover this in some detail.